Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover fraction word problems involving multiplication and division. We will start with a few examples of multiplication and then move on to some examples of division. Let's jump into number one, where we have five sixths of all students at Stone Rock University are currently taking a math class. Of those students, one third are taking a math class online. What fraction of all students at Stone Rock University are taking a math class online? So thinking through this, we know that five sixths of all students are taking a math class right now. One third of those students are taking their math class online. So we need to find one third of five sixths. Now, whenever we are finding the fraction of something, we can multiply in order to find that answer. So we can replace of with a multiplication sign here. So one third times five sixths will give us our answer. Again, one third of the students taking math classes are taking those classes online. So we need one third of five sixths and we're multiplying in order to find that answer. Remember, when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Let's start with the numerators. So one times five, that gives us five. And then for the denominators, we have three times six, that gives us 18. So we end up with five eighteenths. That's the fraction of all students at Stone Rock University taking a math class online. So we can label this 5 eighteenths of the students. Now 5 eighteenths is in simplest form, so we are done. Let's move on to number two, where we have Anne walks 3 tenths of a mile each day for exercise. How many miles? does she walk in one week? So if we think about how to solve this, well, we have seven days in a week. So we have seven days of walking three tenths of a mile, seven groups of three tenths, in other words. So we can solve this by doing seven times three tenths. So seven, and I'm going to write seven as a fraction by putting it over one. That way we have a numerator and a denominator and we can multiply straight across. So seven over one, which again, that is equal to seven. So we're not changing the value of anything. We're just writing seven as a fraction times three tenths. And now we can multiply straight across. So seven times three, that gives us 21. And then one times 10, that gives us 10, and we end up with 21 tenths. Now 21 tenths is an improper fraction, so let's convert this to a mixed number. And we do this by dividing the numerator, 21, by the denominator, 10. So 21 divided by 10. How many whole groups of 10 are in 21? Well, two. Two is our whole number of the mixed number. That gets us to 20. So we have a remainder of one. That's our numerator of the fractional part over and then we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So we end up with two and one tenth. Looking at the original question, how many miles does she walk in one week? So we have two and one tenth miles. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have, there are 21 students in Professor Hall's biology class. Two sevenths of the class earned an A on the final exam. How many students earned an A? Well, we need to find two sevenths of 21. Two sevenths of 21. So two sevenths times 21 and I'm writing 21 over 1. I'm writing 21 in fractional form. 
That way we have a numerator and a denominator and we can multiply straight across. Now let's multiply. 2 times 21 gives us 42 and then 7 times 1 gives us 7. So we end up with 42 sevenths, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number. We need to divide the numerator, 42, by the denominator, 7. 42 divided by 7 gives us 6. And we hit 42 exactly. We don't have a remainder. So we end up with a whole number here. 6 is our answer. So how many students earned an A? Six students. So there are the multiplication examples. Let's move on to division. So here are our division examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have Lewis has two thirds of a gallon of paint. Each wall he is painting requires one fourth of a gallon of paint. How many walls can Lewis paint? If he needs to paint four walls, does he have enough paint? So thinking through this problem, Lewis is starting with two thirds of a gallon of paint and he is splitting or dividing that paint into groups of one fourth of a gallon. Each wall needs one fourth of a gallon. So we need to do two thirds divided by one fourth. That's going to tell us how many walls Lewis can paint and if he has enough for four walls. Now remember, when we divide fractions, we keep, switch, flip. So we keep the first fraction. Then we switch to multiplication and flip our second fraction. So four is now the numerator and one is now the denominator. Now we can multiply straight across. So the numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Two times four gives us eight and three times one gives us three. So we end up with eight thirds, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number. And we do this by dividing the numerator eight by the denominator three. So we need to do eight divided by three. So how many whole groups of three in eight? Well, two, so two is our whole number. That gets us to six. So we have a remainder here. We have a remainder of two. That's our numerator of the fractional part. And then we keep our denominator the same. So we get two and two thirds. So how many walls can Lewis paint? Well, two and two thirds. So not quite three walls. So this is our answer here. Now, can Lewis paint four walls? Does he have enough paint? No. So let's put no, he does not have enough paint. Let's move on to number two, where we have a baker is making cupcakes. He has 15 cups of sugar. Each batch of cupcakes requires three fourths of a cup of sugar. How many batches can he make? So what we need to do here, the baker is starting with 15 cups of sugar and he's splitting or dividing those 15 cups of sugar into groups of three fourths of a cup of sugar. So we need to do 15 divided by three fourths. So let's keep, and I'm going to rewrite 15 in fractional form. So I'm putting it over one. That way we have a numerator and a denominator. This still equals 15. So we're not changing the value of 15 here. So keep switch, and then flip. So four over three. And now we can multiply. Let's start with the numerators. So we have 15 times four. That gives us 60. Now for the denominators, one times three 
that gives us 3. And we end up with 60 thirds, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number by dividing the numerator 60 by the denominator 3. So we need to do 60 divided by 3. That gives us 20. And we do not have a remainder. This is just going to be a whole number here. So our answer is 20. How many batches can he make? 20 batches. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have Gwen has one half of a bag of soil. She wants to split it evenly among eight pots. What fraction of the bag will each pot receive? So in order to solve this, we know that Gwen has one half of a bag of soil, and she's splitting it or dividing it among eight pots. So Gwen is starting with half a bag and dividing it between eight pots. So let's keep, switch, flip here. So keep one half, switch to multiplication, and then we need to flip eight. So let's write eight in fractional form by putting it over one, and now we can flip it. So one is our numerator, and eight is our denominator. Now we can multiply. So the numerators, one times one gives us one, and then for the denominators, two times eight gives us 16. So our answer here, one sixteenth. Looking back at the original question, what fraction of the bag will each pot receive? Well, one sixteenth of the bag. So there you have it. There are some examples of fraction word problems involving multiplication and division. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.